So my name's Shani Mashood. I head up the online monitoring in BBC and I obviously work for BBC. We are generally located in UK and our infrastructure is generally located in a number of data centres in UK, both in London and outside. We have around 50 devices, Xenos uh, um, related devices, and around 1 million data points. We're monitoring around three to 5,000 devices. So 3,000 on-premise and we're also doing the cloud as well. So we have a hybrid infrastructure. When I first started in the role, um, we had a number, an umpteen number of um, monitoring systems, some sitting under someone's PC, um, often crashing, and our NOC um, team was eyeballing multiple dashboards from different consoles. So when I first started this, um, my vision was very much to have a single dashboard so that our NOC team can can kind of find our issues and and see events and have you know pick up incidents quickly. Um, and I chose Xenos for three reasons. One, it was scalable, so you know individual Nagos instances weren't just scalable for for what we were looking at. Um, we didn't have to pay any any um, fees for installing agents. We um, needed the flexibility. Um, and uh, by flexibility, I mean we, the BBC has a really agile business model. We work very in a dynamic fashion. We work quickly, um, and and we innovate. So we needed to have something that could keep up with the pace of the business changes, um, and the flexible nature of Zenpax in Xenos allowed us to do that because we then introduced application monitoring in Xenos as well. The other point was also value for money was one of the reasons why we chose Xenos as well because BBC is a public service broadcaster and therefore that is really really important to us. What caused us to look at Xenos was value for money and the fact that everything was going to be in a single dashboard in a single console. Um, we had the infrastructure and the application both from on-premise and, and the cloud together in one place, um, rather than having to look at different systems and different dashboards and different data. Um, and that, that made a difference to us. So if we didn't have Xenos, which is our main monitoring tool, we wouldn't know when incidents occur, so our audiences would suffer um, you know, a degraded, uh, they would have a degraded experience. Um, our reputation would suffer. So, Xenos does directly benefit in, in that um, it, it allows us to detect incidents, both infrastructure and application, and move quickly, find root cause analysis, and then take the action that's just required to, to bring the service back up. I guess the business that I'm in is even more important now just because of the way broadcasting technology is changing. There's a lot of what we're looking at um, using IP for broadcasting. We've done some trials on that. Um, linear TV and radio channels are, are moving in a, in a, you know, we are doing live TV on iPlayer. We're, we're doing live radio on iPlayer. So not sure in the future how many people will actually watch the traditional TV. So going forward, this is even even more important. And what we do use Xenos for Xenos right now at this present moment in time is actually look at monitoring our entire end-to-end -end info, end-to-end -end service. Right from our platform, our data centers, our networks, our servers, and then our application, individual component workflow, right down to streaming, the user experience. Um, and we, we, we've implemented self-service um, feature in which we say to the, to the application groups, the product groups that actually develop those websites, um, give us the data in this format, don't care how you get it, just make sure you give us the data in this format and we'll put it into Xeno so that our NOC team can actually have access to that. And we are actually um, monitoring our streams for quality of experience, for buffering, for um, loss of picture or, or loss of sound. And we're actually getting those alerts into Xenos now so that our 24 by or our, our NOC team still has a single dashboard and doesn't have to eyeball various um, streams. It's been very good, a uh, very change in the way things have been um, in the past. Um, the user experience two days have been pretty good. I think CAP was good. It was really good to hear some of the things in terms of product direction. 
for Xenos 5 service dynamics. Um, and overall, it's been good. I think it's good to meet the people face to face, which makes a huge difference. And I'm hoping that your UK office will take off as well. <laughs>